We're going to do some correlations real quick in SPSS. So we're going to do the percent and new birds, see if there's a correlation there, a significant correlation. And then we're going to do the college level and math competence. But first, percent and new birds. What we're going to do is go to analyze, correlate, bivariate. That means two variables. So this is going to be a Pearson's correlation, automatic. That's the default here, so let's kick them in there. So both of these variables have to be continuous or scale. And no options, no nothing. This is a real quickie. And here's the output. Let me pull it up so you can see it. Correlations. And there it is right there. There is the correlation, negative 0.748. It is significant. And what that means is, the more returning birds you have, the less new birds join the flock. So that's pretty basic. So let's go ahead and do the next problem. Next problem, we're looking at college level and math competence. So you'll notice that both of those two variables are ordinal. So with ordinal data, you're not supposed to use the Pearsons, even though you probably get the same correlation, re relatively the same. I'm going to show you that too. But we're going to use the Spearman's correlation. So let's go to Analyze again correlate bivariate so let's run a Pearson's first between these two college level and math competence and we'll click OK so there it is as a Pearson's correlation so let's see what a Spearman's correlation does for it so it's not significant with a Pearson's but now let's do the correlate bivariate we just click that little Spearman box there, unclick the Pearsons. And this one is a Spearman's correlation. It is a non-parametric, which means it doesn't use means or standard deviations. And here is the Spearman's row. Again, it is not significant. So that's how you run Pearson correlations and Spearman correlations in SPSS. MGZ out.